Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I am going to show you how to make this candle wrap. This is part of the Santa's Little Elves design team and uh, it's, it's pretty easy. I'm using the Snowflake Sentiments bundle here. Love, love, love this intricate snowflake pattern. I just wanted to let you know I've gotten a couple emails from some of you who are a little concerned that you're seeing the same project that I post on Fridays on other people's blogs or YouTube channel. This design team is a little different. This is not a blog hop. This is some awesome demonstrator friends of mine who have gotten together and created projects to share with you each Friday. So we're gonna be sharing the same projects. And uh, it's just a really neat way to share with you different styles and um, different ideas that we've come up with. So I hope you enjoy this series. I know I'm having a lot of fun with it. So let me show you how to make this fabulous gift idea where you take a plain jar candle from drab to fab. Let's get started. Here's the cardstock we're gonna use for this project. I've got a scrap of silver foil. I've got a scrap of shimmer white. I've got two layers of shimmer white that are two and a half by six. And I don't know if you can really see this in the camera, but oh my gosh, this paper is so beautiful. It's got just a, a shimmer to it, beautiful. I've got a piece of real red that is two and a half by 11 and another piece that is two and a half by four. And then we're using the Be Merry Designer Series paper again. We're gonna use this green side. This is three by 12 inches long. Oh, and then the candle. All you need is an 18 ounce jar candle. This one happens to be Enticing Aromas, and I got it at Shopco. So if you're in the Midwest and you have Shopco stores, that's where I got mine. It was um, $11.99. I'm going to bring in the Swirly Snowflakes Framelits. And these beautiful dies are available in a bundle with the Snowflake Sentiment stamp set. And that's the greeting we're going to put on the front of our candle. But I have to tell you, I have used these. I showed them to you once before. They are absolutely gorgeous. Very intricate and beautiful. So these are the two thinlets that we're going to use. And then also with this set, you get a little tag. This little tag that folds over, it's scored. It's got a little hole in the middle, so it's a it, it'll open up. That's really cute. Two snowflakes, this swirly image, and then a line with little polka dots die cut out of it. So this is a really neat set of thinlets. I am going to take my real red layers and I am going to adhere them together. I'm choosing to use Fast Fuse for this project because it is just like a sticky strip in a tape runner. It's amazing stuff. So I've got some Fast Fuse there. It doesn't really matter how far you overlap these just as long as your edges are even because we're going to be cutting off some of this. I am going to take this image, I'm going to lay it on my cardstock, and I'm going to run this through the big shot. I'll be right back. And here it comes. Look at, isn't that pretty? That's what your image is going to look like. I'm going to use my big shot die brush to get the little pieces out of here. And this thing works so well, you guys. I know I've said this a gazillion times, and I'm going to say it again. If you don't have one of these, get one. It's amazing. Look at, got one little piece left. All those little things you would have had to sit there and poke out with your pokey tool, which makes me insane, and they're all gone. I am going to take this layer. Oops, let me get all those little polka dots off of there. I'm going to take this layer, and I'm going to slide it up on my surface here, put this right in place, and die cut again. So it's meeting up with the with the one we just cut. And notice that when you run this across, I've got the same distance here from the top of the die to the edge of my cardstock. The same distance, so I'm keeping it straight. I'm going to put this through the big shot, be right back. Here we go. 
and it just continues on in the pattern, right? I'm gonna do this again. One that's being a little bugger there. There we go. And I think twice is going to be enough. Let's check. I'm going to bring my candle in here. I need it to be just one more set. So I'm just going to continue on here and run this through the rest of the way. Be right back. And here is the end of our snowflake background. Got a few little circles here. That's where our cardstock overlapped. I'm gonna take a little bit extra to pop that out. So, but they did die cut, so that's great news. Okay, so we've got this ready. Now we're ready to do our snowflakes themselves. We've got our two pieces here of the shimmer white that are two and a half by six. We're gonna use the adhesive sheets. These are multi-purpose adhesive sheets. And that's what we're gonna use to adhere them to our red layer. Get a whole bunch of these sheets in here. I'm just gonna take one out. I'm gonna cut it to the same size. Hang on, my paper back is sticking there. There we go. I'm gonna cut it to the same size as my two layers. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're going to stick this to our shimmer paper. Now you're gonna feel that this side doesn't have any sticky on it. This is the side with the sticky, and you want to try to keep your fingers off of it. Ooh, I did pretty good there. You're going to leave this backing on. Then we're going to do the next one. Here. Okay, here we go. I got a little bit on my thumb there. Okay, now we're gonna run this through our big shot. And this is our backing. This is our sticky adhesive paper. We're gonna put our thinlet on the front layer. So it's on our cardstock and we've got the sticky backing on the back. When you're cutting these out too, you also wanna know that it does not cut off this bottom part. You're just gonna get a really thin line of cardstock there. So make sure that you've got this even all the way across the bottom. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Now, before you take your die off of here, you wanna look at the back and make sure that it looks like it is completely die cut here. Because if it's not, you can run it through your machine again before you take that off. And I can see that mine did die cut nicely. And I'm just going to, you have to be careful with this because this is delicate. Especially with that added sticky paper in there. This is, this is a worthy project for you to do though. So keep that in mind. We're making a really pretty gift. Okay, my sticky came off of there a little bit. All right, here we go. I'm going to bring my dye brush back in here. And we're going to get rid of all of these little bits. There we go. There's hardly anything stuck in this die, which is really good news because I don't know. You know, I will use dies that everything sticks in, but I don't use them very often because they're a lot of work, right? I don't like that. So we've got these bigger pieces here. I'm just gonna run this over. You have to be careful with this because it is very intricate. Now, I'm gonna start peeling my backing paper off. 
at that. That came out great. And I've just got a couple little pieces here that didn't pop out yet, but you want to try and handle this as little as possible. Is that it? Oh, one more right here. I think that's it. Okay. Bring this in here. And I'm going to set this down right here on the bottom here. There is our first set of snowflakes. Now I'm going to die cut our second set and I'll be right back. Comes the next one and I'm going to use my paper snips. I just tore that other one and it'd be a little bit nicer if I didn't have torn edges on this. What do you think? Didn't really think about it. Let me see if I can get my scissors in here. I can. Trim this little edge up here a little bit. There we go. That's going to make me happier. It's the little things in life, right? Okay. Gently take the backing off. And we are going to continue the pattern here. Just going to over that, overlap that just a little bit. Make sure I've got the same margin going on the bottom here. Oops, see we got one of those little die cut pieces sticking there. Here we go, we're almost done. This is so easy. Okay. Now I'm going to adhere this to my green layer. And I think I'm just gonna stick with my fast fuse. Let's make sure. See where we're going here. And it ends right here. Ooh, don't forget to do that little tick thing there. right in my green layer. I'm going to start it right up here at the edge and go all the way to the bottom of my green layer. I hope you can see that. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Let's see if it fits around our candle. Love, love, love. Look at that. Okay, I am going to put a little bit of fast fuse. I am going to cut this off. So I'm just going to cut it off about right here. We don't need it to be that big. Get rid of that. And now I'm going to put some fast fuse on it. I'm going to put some fast fuse in here to keep this in place. Sorry, I think I got off camera there. I hate it when that happens. Apologize for that. Be a little more mindful of where I'm setting my stuff when I'm working with it. I usually don't work with something this big, right? Okay, now I want to make sure that my label on my candle is getting covered up. And I think I did a pretty good job there. Okay, so far so good. See if we can get it to meet in the back. That's the big test here. Get it to match up. And oops, I need this 
Just the tuck under it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Last but not least, we need a label. We need to put a little greeting on the front. And I'm using, still using the Snowflake Sentiments. This is the stamp set that comes in the bundle. And I am going to stamp in Garden Green Ink on my Shimmer White paper. I'm going to die cut this with one of the layering ovals. And then that gold foil that I told you we needed, I'm going to do that in the scallop that's just a little bit bigger. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Got both of these. I'm going to use, I'm just going to stick with my fast fuse here and add this layer. To my gold foil. Let's get some of the stuff out of the way here. Here comes our candle. I think I'm going to put that right here. Now this actually goes right where our two snowflake images met up here. So this is a good place for a label in case you have any gaps there or any little errors. This would be perfect. And I think I'm going to choose to use some dimensionals here because I think those are gonna hold really, really good. I'm gonna put three of them on there. Here we go. Look at that, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. What a nice idea to take a candle from blah to wow for the holiday season. Last but not least, I've got our silver edged ribbon here. I have gone through a ton of this already and I've barely even started doing Christmas stuff because it is so beautiful. And I'm going to give this a nice generous bow here on the front of my candle. Where's my scissors? I'm just gonna leave that hang down there. Cut this at an angle. And there is another great gift for you to showcase your mad stamping skills to your family and friends. How wonderful. Take a plain Jane little candle to this wow, right? Paper crafts. You have to love them. All right, you guys, thanks so much again for taking a little time out of your day to spend with me. I really appreciate your watching my videos. Make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything coming out. Next weekend, I'm going to have another great project for you that's going to keep your holiday stamping running on high gear from the Santa's Little Elves design team. So make sure you stop back then. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. Check out my blog. The address is right here. I wish you guys a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.